Yeah, working with Raheem is great. Um, little fun fact, he actually coached my brother in Atlanta when he was drafted there um, as a receiver. So it was real cool. As soon as we got him, uh, my brother hit me up. Well, I'm like staying with my brother right now. And he was like, yeah, you're going to love him. Um, he's going to coach everybody the same. He has a lot of energy. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's been great. And, um, I mean, just being being around him finally and then just being on Zoom, like everything that my brother said is, is definitely like 100% true. So, um, yeah, he's great to be around, like real knowledgeable about the game um, and like all aspects of the game too, like offense, defense, special teams, like he coaches like everybody on everything. So it was really dope to see. Cool. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Gary. Um, hey, you know, Jordan, I know you've only been out there on OTAs for a couple of days, but as a rookie who didn't have the opportunity to do this last uh, year, what's it like to, to, you know, be able to combine now the virtual with actually getting on the field and, and working out with teammates? Um, it's cool. Like, I think the stuff you miss the most is just like being around your guys. I think it's just given, it's given a bunch of us excuses just to, I mean, like be around each other and like work on that glue as we always say, um, cause the tighter we are, the the better we're gonna be honestly. So um, that's what I've looked forward to the most honestly. And it's been great. So I think being around the guys is my favorite part. Uh, we were speaking with Robert before you about this. Um, Today being the uh, anniversary of George Floyd's death, just wanted to ask you, as you reflect on what's happened the last year, if you have any thoughts uh, about what's happened and what might happen going forward. Yeah, um, I mean, I was listening to a little bit of what Robert said earlier, but um, yeah, we have a we have a long way to go. Um, I know, I know that we can be a lot better. There's a lot of hate in the world, but there's also a lot of love and we need to um, focus on that and, and spread that even more. Um, so I think that's what it really comes down to. Obviously that was a tragedy. Um, you know, the, um, the officer like going to jail for it, like doing time, like it's not really something to celebrate. It's like, okay, that's accountability, but um, you know, like that's, that's what's supposed to happen if somebody gets killed, like murdered, you know what I mean? So, um, so yeah, like that, that's what I got to say about George Floyd, but obviously we have a long, long way to go, but I just want everybody to love each other. That's, that's really what it comes down to at, at the end of the day. So yeah, more love, spread more love. Thanks very much. Kevin? Uh, as you go from year one to year two, what are you working on the hardest in your own game? Um, I would say just mentally like football one-on-one. So when to expect run and pass, like what, what formations give me certain tells, like stuff like that, just like working on a bunch of stuff like above the neck. Um, and obviously just like physically just trying to get stronger and faster and all that kind of stuff. But the, the biggest thing I think just mentally I could take a big step, so. In the off season and, and I guess uh, training camp a year ago, it was hard to work on tackling as much as guys uh, might have wanted to. Uh, are you getting a chance to work on that more now, or did you have you found a way to work on it? Uh, I, I mean, we'd say that half the battle to tackling is your approach. Um, and if your approach is off, a lot of times your, your tackle is going to miss. So um, not having pads on, you can still work on your approach and your angles and stuff like that. So we've been working on that, but we've also been working on tackling here at uh, OCA. So. This one definitely getting better. Thanks. We'll wrap up with Greg, Jordan, and then Eric, please. Hey, Jordan, uh, have you been able to tell what the impact is of the Rams losing John Johnson yet? And what do you think about that? Um, I would say it's hard to say, but I definitely take it on my shoulders. And I know just the all the DBs as a as a group are trying to take that on. He was a, he was a great leader great communicator, really, really smart. So um, that's kind of part of the reason why I want to work on my like football one-on-one, -on -one, like learning the ins and outs of the game. Cause like John was great at that. So, um, so yeah, um, that's really what I've been focused on and everybody's been focused on. I can't like really equate what the loss will mean, but hopefully it's nothing. Do you know yet how your role is going to change and what you're going to be asked to do in, in terms of positioning, in terms of leadership, all those kinds of things? 
Um, no, I, I mean, I think it's just year two, there's more expectations. You're, you're not um, expected to make like rookie mistakes anymore. Um, also, it's just like natural for you to maybe speak up more like as you as you grow and there's younger guys that you need to um, pour into and um, lead along the way. But um, I wouldn't say it's nothing I've, I haven't done before, you know, so. You're a, you're a guy who didn't make a lot of mistakes from the start. First day you stepped on this field. Uh, what kind of reaction have you gotten in the office now that you get to go back to your, your, to your life with your family and friends and stuff? What have people said to you about, about your rookie year? Uh, they're just proud of me. Um, just coming from like being drafted in the sixth round and stuff like that. Just, just proud of me, just overcoming a bunch of stuff. Um, but they also tell me I haven't really done much yet. So <laughs> it really doesn't mean anything unless I keep going. Hey, Jordan, uh, sorry about that earlier. These Zooms are still killing me, man. So <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, hey, I wanted to ask you about Terrell Burgess um, because I know it's probably great to see him kind of returning to normal and and you know I know that's a long road in general but yeah. last year it just seemed like he just wanted to be involved and around as much as possible even though he was hurt and rehabbing and then also was just like always online rooting for you guys <laughs> and like cheering for you guys what what is that like for you not only as his teammate but as his friend and what does that say about him and that's just like if you know tv that's just him like is one of the most supportive people, one of the most positive people you'll come around. Um, so it wasn't surprising for me, like when when he got hurt, um, that he still had a smile on his face, um, was still attacking every day, like it was a new one, like fresh start. Um, and that's why that's what I love about him. That's what everybody loves about him. He's always always happy, um, and he's great to be around. So I mean, that was it's really cool to see how he, how he's attacking this process and. Uh, his support always means means everything to us. So, uh, so yeah, I'm excited to get back on the field with him. It's been fun. Yeah, and then as as we get closer to training camp here, the potential for you guys to be on the field together a lot and kind of establish that partnership in many ways. Um, what does that mean to you? And and what are some of the the dynamics of of that kind of on field partnership? Uh, I was, it's really cool because uh, I know we first met at the combine. Um, we were actually like, we didn't talk throughout like the whole, like few days we were there, but like we walked off the field at the same time and like walked all the way up to the hotel. So it was probably like 10, 15 minute walk, just like, just conversing. It was like, oh, this dude was pretty cool, whatever. And then it happened, like, we just got drafted to the same team. Um, and obviously it's grown from there. Um, we get on 2K from time to time, you know, uh, try to beat people like online and all that. So. It's funny. Um, so like carrying that relationship to on the field is like really easy, you know, and, um, you know, if he makes a play, I'm going to be super hype, you know, so I'm excited for that. So you guys play as teammates on 2K? Yeah, yeah. So we'll either be in the, they call it the park. So like, it'll be like either two on two. So me and him will be the two players against like two random people online. Then we talk trash and stuff. And then, um, <laughs> Sometimes we'll go to the rec where it's like five on five and then with some of his friends and my friends, whatever. But yeah, it's fun. Thanks, Jordan. Mm -hmm. Eric, we'll wrap up with you. Hey, Jordan. Um, how big is the off season for you, particularly with what happened in your rookie year and not getting that time on the field that you would normally get going into your rookie year? And then you mentioned the mental part of it. Are you watching safeties in Raheem's scheme? Are you watching other safeties to kind of get better? What's your what's your process there? Um, well, I kind of forgot your first question. Oh, physically. Well, physically, uh, y'all yeah, just been trying to get get stronger. Obviously, I got a little banged up like during this season, so um, like upper body wise, I'm just trying to like build some armor, just a little more armor for for myself. So you know, it's a long season, so. Just trying to trying to build up for that, then honestly, just get faster and like speed and agility. Obviously, I mean just regular stuff physically. Um, but then above the next stuff, yeah, I've been like studying some safeties. So I, I mean, I played next to one of the best safeties in the game and John Johnson last year, so it's kind of easy to find somebody to look at 
but then um, also looking at like Justin Simmons a little bit and then also Jesse Bates, who isn't like in our scheme, but um, a great safety to watch. So, so yeah, I've been watching them. When you do watch them, Jordan, what are you trying to pick up when you watch guys like that? Uh, body movement. Um, I'm trying to see, like, understand what they're seeing. Um, stuff like that. Um, and then it's like basically motivation to get to wear that and then like surpass that, you know? So, so yeah. And then you mentioned the, the armor, you want to get a little bigger. Do you want to gain more weight or you just want to be a little more, a little more muscle so you can stand? Yeah. No, yeah, I don't want to gain weight, but it's, it's really just like having more, more muscle. So I feel like I've kind of figured out a good, good formula so that I don't gain weight, but still get stronger, you know? So yeah, it's good. Thanks, Jordan. Thank you guys. All right, thank you.